Really our goal for treatment with interventions in the whole spectrum is to provide a customized treatment care package for patients. When you look at the conditions we treat, they're common and they're prevalent. And I think we've been learning more and more about how prevalent they are over the last decade. The combination of technology and expertise now has brought to the forefront therapies and treatments that really make a difference. The joy that this profession brings to me is the ability to alleviate patients' pain. It's very rewarding to have that interaction with the patient. Dan Cole, St. George News. I'm with Coach Frankie from Desert Hills after the 45-7 win over the Cedar Redmen, who were previously undefeated. Coach, you know, they, they arguably had a, a lighter schedule, but still 3-0 and to come in here and face you guys. Yeah, you know, they, they be who was in front of them, and, uh, you know, their kids play hard, and they're well coached, and, you know, maybe it was just our night tonight, but our kids played really well for uh, homecoming night, and... Um, you know, I, I, I felt like we stopped what they, what they like to do early and frustrated them, and uh, we were able to, you know, make it count on the offensive end by scoring a lot of points tonight. Offensively, Bridger had 284 yards on 18 carries, but defensively, that's what I really want to talk about. You're right, you frustrated them early. Their biggest play was right before halftime. They had the eight-yard pass. Yeah. Uh, before that, it was four, six yards was their, were their biggest plays. And then at halftime, they had that one big play. But other than that, I don't think they got more than eight or nine yards the rest of the night. Yeah, you know, we did a really good job of, again, filling our gaps, playing our assignments, and uh, the kids stuck to it, and they believe in it and believe in one another, and they trust one another. So. You know, I know we're known for a defensive team, and that's great. I mean, all facets have to be played well. And, you know, I, I thought offensively tonight they had no answers, especially in the run game. I thought we ran really well. Um, and then besides those couple letdowns on defense, you know, all in all, we had, we had a, a pretty solid game. I'm here with Ethan Del Toro, defensive line and offensive line. Let's talk defense tonight, Ethan. Today, uh, tonight, uh, in the first half, their biggest play before halftime was the eight-yard run, right, or eight-yard pass right before the half. What were the keys to the game to stopping uh, this team who was undefeated coming in tonight? Uh, well, like a big thing was just uh, executing our jobs. Um, if like one of us didn't execute our jobs, then the whole thing falls apart. And that really goes back to our coach Nick Hansen. He puts us in the right place uh, to make the plays and to stop um, the offenses. Coming in tonight, they were a top running team, and you guys seemed to hit your gaps pretty well uh, stopping the run. But not only that, you got in the backfield quite a bit on, on the pass plays as well. Yeah. Um, uh, just the technique that our coaches teach us and getting us in the right places at the right time and um, just co being coached up uh, helps a lot, and it, uh, we're able to make plays. As a senior uh, on, the, on the line, uh, one of your roles is as, as a leader. Uh, what uh, what kind of uh, uh, leadership skills do you think uh, you display tonight on the field tonight? Um, I think a big thing is like being an example to the younger guys, uh, just like not goofing around and being focused, and uh, just being a representative of Desert Hills and representing our school. All right. Well, thanks, Ethan. Good game tonight. Thank you. I'm here with senior Hunter Staley. Hunter, what position do you play? Linebacker in the end. All right, and you've been injured. Tell us a little bit about your injury and overcoming the injury and, you know, what, how much you've gotten to play this year. I have, uh, I got surgery start, end of May, and I thought I was never going to play again, and then uh, came back, played a little bit last week, and first time playing a full game this week. All right, and, and this week you're one of the leading tacklers. You're in the top four in tackles on a defense tonight that really held the Cedar Redmond. Yeah, I just busted my butt. I haven't played forever. Came out my last homecoming gang and yeah. How how's the, how's it feel? Does it feel still 100%? It feels awesome. All right. Well, hey, congratulations tonight on a great game and uh, that defense looks pretty tough. Yeah. Thank you. All right.